<laughs> that way, that way. When we were to leave Mendova, we met with a couple of Brazilians who invited us for a couple of coffee. We surely accepted, but then postponed it our departure time from 11 in the morning to 3 in the afternoon. Anyway, we hit the road again, but just as we left Mendova, we were surprised by the road ahead of us. So far the road had been paved and ice, we got used to that and thought that's how it would be throughout. We didn't even have to leave Mentima to experience some challenges on the road. The second way goes through some sort of a small jungle for about an hour or so. After that it beautifully goes through some channels along the road until it reaches the Po River again. As we were late, and the cycleway didn't allow us to go too far, not that we would anyway with all the things we had, we knew that the day would be short and we would have to camp along the road somewhere. When the clock hit 6ish, we were desperately looking for somewhere to camp. As it would be our first night outside, we were a bit concerned. We were looking for a small village, so we could camp just before its entrance or right after its exit. Therefore, no one would bother us. That's how we spotted an area which seemed naturally reserved. Apparently it is forbidden to wild camp. As we were setting up our tent, the sky was set on fire by the sun rays on its setting. It was remarkable. We were still worried about how cold it would be at night or if anyone would come and tell us to leave. And uh, well, there were lots of uncertainties, but there we were. And we made through the first night outside. Good morning. First um, night on the tent. It was good, it wasn't cold. Yeah, a little bit chill at night, but it was good. There were so many insects during the night, like they... The mosquitoes. They wouldn't, they didn't get inside the tent, but we could see them all around. And when we were starting to set up the tent, they were biting us. It was terrible. And the, the mosquitoes here in Italy, they look like horses, seriously. <laughs> mm, but now it's 8 a.m. and it's time to go because we don't want anyone to disturb us. So, 8 a.m. time to go. We are on our way to Ferrara. It's like 60 kilometers away from here. And um, that's it. <laughs> We then packed all of our stuff, got ourselves ready and hit the road. The day was perfect for a ride. We had everything in our favour. A paved cycleway which edges the beautiful Po River, no cars, sunny day and obviously a good company. Exactly.
exactly what we wanted for our trip. Nature, good weather and just the two of us. Well, that's what we thought. During one short break, I put my helmet off to check the camera just to find out I had a little company. But I thought, the moment I put my helmet back on again, it would jump on it. Well, there is someone that is enjoying this cycle better than us. Well, not really. I wasn't even thinking of Fernanda anymore. Anyway, we knew it would be a long day until we reached Ferrara and even though the whole way was being amazing, we started to feel really tired and couldn't wait to arrive. Particularly because we're not really staying in Ferrara. Once we arrive over there, we'll have to take a train to a near village where Raffaele and Antonella were waiting to host us for a couple of days. We really had to hurry up, but we couldn't count on fate this time. With a flat tire, we had to stop and fix it before heading to Antonella's village. Hunger, tiredness and lack of time it starts to be the only thing we could think of. Here we are. In Ferrara. We arrived in Ferrara, but that's how. And it was a long, long day. I think we cycled like for six hours, but I wasn't fast enough. So it's not that we cycled for like um, a long distance. We just cycled like for uh, how many kilometers? 70? It was about 70, yeah. 70 it's pretty much what I did on the first day. Yeah, I'm knackered, seriously. Like I, I almost couldn't get here. I dropped my bike. <laughs> we dropped the drone. In the middle of we the way. We dropped the drone, but it was safe uh, and it's flying. And Thiago had a puncture. So that's our situation. We're hungry we, and we are not even staying here in Ferrara. We are just waiting for this to dry, to, for the glue of the, the wheel to dry. And then we go to a small Somewhere. city, a small town called Marchezzini Villetano. <laughs> Because we're gonna meet some friends, uh, we're gonna stay over with them. But just to sum up with our situation, we don't have enough battery. We don't know where we need to go. The, her city is like seven kilometers away from the train station. We're gonna arrive. About forty yeah. kilometers from here. Yeah. So that's the situation. We don't know what's gonna happen. Some days are not so good, right? Yeah. Those days. Just the base. <laughs> uh, we, uh, we can't talk anymore. I'm no, not even in now. English. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, some days like you just feel like everything that could go wrong does. But we should never say that because there is always something else. That, that can, can get worse. worse. Can always get the worse. <laughs> yeah. It, okay, it cannot get worse today. Yeah. We are knackered. We are hungry. And we have a flat tire. Let's see. Ah, she forgot to say. And I bought the wrong spare inner tubes. So I have to use the one I'm fixing. Well done, Jeff. Well done. I told you, it can get worse. <laughs> it can always get worse. The 
faz aí o furo daqui. <risos> ai, ai.